Be sure to check out BruceMontalvo.Bandcamp.com BruceMontalvo.Bandcamp.com For my latest book, The Language of Symbols And all sorts of merchandise From t-shirts The Trump World Order t-shirt The Hillary Not My President t-shirt Or the Jail Soros t-shirt All available at the Bruce Montalvo store The official Bruce Montalvo store At BruceMontalvo.Bandcamp.com TalkStream Live introduces our first ever iPhone application, Mobile Talk Radio. Imagine having the freedom to take live talk radio with you anywhere you go. You'll be surprised how easy it is to use. So I think what's going on here is that Obama is banking on unemployment falling. Listen to live talk shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. TalkStream Live. Now available in the iTunes App Store. Oh, yeah, if you want to support Bruce Montalvo and all the Montalvo maniacs, yeah, be sure to go to paypal.com, yeah, and type in the Bruce Montalvo show at gmail.com, yeah, 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 and you can give Montalvo a $5 donation, $25 donation, here's the 25 cents, yeah, Helps in the fight against the new world order. Support the Bruce Montalvo Show. Go to PayPal.com, the Bruce Montalvo Show at gmail.com and help out the Montalvo Maniacs. Yeah! Go to Antique Obsessions for the hottest in jewelry, antiques, repurposed, solid sterling silver, one of a kind, handmade by Bruce and Jaja. Go to uh, our Facebook, which is Antique Obsessions, or you can go to Etsy.com and go to Antique Obsessions, one word, or type it into your Google and find us there. Thanks. Tribal, primitive, primitive rustic, rustic, burning man, 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 punk rock, conceptual rock. subculture for the edgiest, most cutting edge designs of jewelry today. Go to Etsy.com slash shop slash conceptual subculture or one word either by going to Google or search Etsy, E-T-S-Y dot com and type in one word conceptual subculture. You will find the hottest designs using natural stones with wire wrap rings, rough, raw, genuine, semi-precious gemstone jewelry, solid sterling silver, copper, leather, organite, bracelets, pendants, chokers, men's copper cups with sterling accents, eco-friendly, repurposed, original, one-of-a-kind design earrings. Support MBN by going to Conceptual Subculture on Etsy. Be sure to use our 40% off coupon, Bruce 40 at checkout to receive this fabulous offer. It's a new morning in America. Fresh, vital. The old cynicism is gone. We have faith in our leaders. We're optimistic as to what becomes of it all. It really boils down to our ability to accept. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live 
It is the Bruce Montalvo Show, broadcasting on a very special Sunday, WrestleMania Sunday. That's right. You know, you would expect me, Bruce Montalvo, to be up there in the middle of the ring, you know, busting heads, wouldn't you? But instead, I'm on the radio busting balls. You're listening to the greatest of them all. The real macho man of talk radio, yeah. Got a lot of fans, don't I? You're listening to the Bruce Montalvo Show. I'm joined by the co-host with the mo-host, Cha-Cha. Say hello. Hello, I'm here, but I'm not. She's here, but she's not because, you know, you know, it's a bunch of sweaty men that can give each other staph infections. You know what I'm saying? They're like getting all sweaty, all, you know, wrestling each other and stuff. You think that's gay, don't you? I think You think wrestling's gay? gay. You think I it's do. gay? I do. I think they're, uh, you know, repressed homosexuals. You know, if you go back to like the Greco-Roman wrestling times. They were gay too. They were like naked. And, and they were like on the mat like. And that's the thing. See, McMahon, he's putting out like gay wrestlers now. Yes. I'm mm-hmm. like watching. I, I, don't, I don't even care about like the earlier matches. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, who cares? I mean, the big show looks like the old show. He looks like he's on crack. I mean, really? You're still wrestling, bro? I mean, his punch couldn't knock out fucking uh, Betty White. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's old now. Anyway, they're, they're doing the damn thing. WrestleMania 33, live from Orlando, Florida. And uh, I'm watching it right here. And I'm going to do uh, commentary. Side... Side to side with Jaja, who's here but not here. But uh, yeah, WrestleMania 33. It's a Masonic number. The number 33, is it not? Mm. Yeah. Mm. I wonder what. Uh, I wonder what symbol. The skull and bones is 322. Oh, all right. It's 33. Okay, it's uh, Masonic. 33 degree. I just saw the WrestleMania logo with a big Fleur de Lis on TV as I was speaking about it. So uh, you know they're listening. You know, they're like the NSA. They just love to listen to you through, through your Apple, through your TV. It doesn't matter. You're like they're listening Glenn to you 24-7. Butfeld, you know? Glenn Butfeld. And which leads me to our next match of the evening, folks. And uh, this one isn't taking place in Orlando, but it is taking place in the WrestleMania of talk radio here on the Bruce Montalvo Show. You know, I'm getting ready to call out this big fat guy with titties. Oh, Magilla Gorilla? Magilla Gorilla, who my I nigga, called... My nigga Gorilla? Tyrus Smash, who I called my nigga Gorilla, got so butthurt because he's a brother. He got so butthurt but that... But I am the one who came up with this. Yeah, yeah, you came up with it. Can I finish my fucking story? He got so butthurt that he blocked me from Twitter. Mm-hmm. Okay? He blocked me from Twitter because of the name Magilla Gorilla, a.k.a. my nigga Gorilla. I know. He's not cool. Not he's cool. He's not good looking. He's not funny. He's not smart. He's just a big tard. Just a big tard. Really? Yeah. No, but I, look, I'm putting myself on the bill. It's me versus that big fat fuck with the titties, Tyrus. Really, it is. That fat, dull face titty boy who's faking the funk. Coming out there all fat. McMahon was so disgusted with him probably because, you know, he's just a big blub of lard. He just fired him. And why are they faking the funk on Fox News on that Glenn Butfeld show with this big fat tub of shit? I mean, that show is a liberal show pretending to be a conservative show. Yeah. Is it not? Yeah, they're total liberals. I mean, they're absolutely against... Trump, because you can hear it in every snide comment, and they could they could trump Trump, bump bump all you want, but they're they're not for the establishment. Ah, uh, they're faking the funk. Yeah. Okay, the Funkadelics are not dancing with him anymore maybe because she, she McMahon said you're bit. fired. Maybe she likes Trump a little bit. You mean the snowflake that Glenn Butfeld's pimping out? Could you imagine that guy like on top of that poor little freaking white girl that's on that Glenn Butfeld show? I mean, she probably feels like the freaking King Kong is falling on her. <laughs> he's pimping her out, isn't it? He's got his hand over her like she's one of you know Glenn Butfeld's like prostitute service. 
That's what he's got well, going on. He's got his hand over. He's got, he he's got, you know, that Tyrus dude's constantly grabbing his nuts when he's on TV next to that chick. Mm. Yeah, well, she can get way better than him. He's, he's pretty awful looking. And... Look, he's just some bu bunk version of Pete Santilli. He really is he with the with the little hat with the with the little hat. He's pretending to be like Pete Santilli, and you know he's bunk faking the funk with the little backwards hat and that moo moo he's wearing now. You seen that shit? Fucking moo moo, you know, hanging out with libtards who pretend to be conservative. Unbelievable. I mean, what did I call him? I called him my nigga gorilla. That's right. You came up with that. I called him that on Twitter, and he blocked me. He's just a fucking wannabe rapper. He's up there with like a chain, like he raps. Dude, you roll around with like not even the top wrestling people now. You're like TNA or whatever, rolling around getting staph infections, given staph infections more than likely. So if I wrestled that big fat guy, I would have to wrestle him in like a, a bubble, right? Like a parasite free bubble. Mm -hmm. Well, you just have to like not go so close to his disgusting body. All right, I'll just do like a Macho Man Randy Savage elbow and just from the turnbuckle, from the top turnbuckle. And have don't be like you know. Oh yeah, half naked like yeah. like all the other guys. Yeah, right. No, I'd probably come out in like Bret Hart style wrestling attire. You know, like the like it looks like the proper wrestling attire, not like a leotard or like a g-string. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't come out in that. You know what I'm saying? Even though you'd probably like go crazy, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's right. No, I'm telling you, I am going to wrestle that fat fuck Tyrus in a non-homo way. All right, if if he's willing to accept my challenge, I'll I'll wrestle him anywhere, anytime. I'll DDT him right through some freaking tables. Okay, all right. If you're willing to go to the EWF or the freaking wherever, all right. I'm I'm in training right now, and that that guy's always in training, eating like Yankee Doodles, Ding Dongs, and Ho Hos. See how fat he is? You need like three cameras just to get half of him on the TV. He's so much bigger than everyone else in that thing. Didn't he work for like Snoop Dogg? But what's amazing is he that... He was like Snoop Dogg's security guard. Okay, but what's amazing is that he was in in a sport. In his sports, you usually have to be a little bit, you know, fit. But he doesn't look fit. He doesn't even look... Are you kidding me? When I first saw him come out on like the I NXT show, he came out and he was like choke slamming people with his titties. Anyway, I'm watching WrestleMania right now like the rest of you slaves because that's what the WWE thinks of you, okay? They're putting out their false idols out there. It doesn't get any more satanic than WWE when you come to think about it. But they got a tag team match right now. They have the Luke Gallows, those guys uh, fighting the Kaz and en Enzo. Those guys are funny. And um, what is it? Sheamus and some Italian dude with Bruce Montalvo glasses. So that's a tag team match. That's what's going on right now. You see, I'm I'm watching the show. You're listening to the show. You're listening to my show while I'm watching another show. People do that sometimes, don't they? Mm -hmm. I mean, all hell's breaking loose in the ring, blah, blah, blah. But all hell's breaking loose here in our studios. I just cracked open some Pabst Blue Ribbon, didn't I? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing like a little bit of violence Paps, blue ribbon. and some Pabst Blue Ribbon. Like the movie. That's right. Blue Velvet. Anyway, but I want to ask Jaja this. How do you feel about Fox News saying that 50 Cent, the rapper 50 Cent's career is over? Well, I mean, 50, I don't really want to talk about 50, honestly. I have enough problems. But, um, but, I know, but that's coming from a guy that's on Snoop Doggy Dog's camp. So I'm thinking that there's like a new rap beef. Because one of Snoop's guys on Glenn Buttfeld's show on Hoax News is making fun of Cinquenta. Yeah, but the thing is, is that um, 50 and Snoop were on the same label. Yeah, man, we're on the same label. And Dre, Dr. Dre was behind them both. So please, so I, I find it So really it's just as fake as the wrestling that I'm watching right now. Yeah, Larry King style, you know. Larry King style. Look, I'm telling you, look, this guy, Snoop. He probably fired Tyrus because he would eat all his munchies. Tyrus would just keep eating all of Snoop's munchies. They're probably like, nobody wants to look at you, Tyrus. He's like, what they the fuck? They when they see you. What the fuck, man? I'm already skinny. You're eating all the fucking donuts, man. You could have left me a bear claw, G. <laughs> right? 
No, but seriously, look, Vince fired him because, like you said, he's fucking disgusting to look at. Right now, he's sitting at home, whacking off to the, the new day, these fruity-ass black wrestlers coming out. You, you've seen them. They're fruity. They got, like, unicorns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're right up Glenn, uh, Glenn Gupfeld's uh, alley. Uh. They're with the unicorns and the trumpets and everything. But Tyrus is sitting at home wishing that he was on the bill. WrestleMania, but no, instead, you're, you're on the bill. You're fighting Bruce Montalvo live. Come on. Come on. Come on. What? They keep hinting that they know that I'm dissing them, right? Yeah. I, I watch the show. Well, instead of Ray, All these little instead hints. Of Ray, you know, which is your real name. But they yeah, well, if, if you Ray unmask show. Bruce Montalvo and you know me personally, Whatever, okay? Uh, there's a radio name, and then there's uh, the name I live with. So, so fuck you if you think you're, you're exposing me. Oh, uh, uh, like that fucking douchebag Pete Santilli. That's like another Pete one. Devin. Hey, Tyrus. Hey, Ty why don't you go ask Pete Santilli what I would have done to him in the middle of the street. I would have beaten him like a freaking, uh, like, like a, a monkey getting the shit kicked out of him on the side of the street, Tyrus. Okay? You're fake, and I'm real. And even if you allowed me to be fake, I'd be way better than you at it. You've seen it. I know all the moves. I know I'll do, oh, I know all the moves. I'll do like a freaking flying wrist lock into a fucking jackhammer slash DDT. But how you gonna do? How are you gonna deal with that? Huh, Tyrus? Are you gonna choke slam me with your titties, fat boy? But a bit back to fifty again, you know. Yeah, yeah, back to the failed like rapper and failed the failed careers. career. His is not really a First of all, his career his Kanye career West. didn't fail because you know that he took a whole bunch of hits from you, redid them, and then he had like a career. So that's why you're saying it's not a failing career. Well, look, Kanye did the same thing, but... He, you're saying Kanye West has a failing career. Yeah. He's horrible. He's not even a rapper. Well, you don't have at to tell 50, me that twice. At least 50 Cent was tough, and he sounded good. Kanye, tough? Have you ever seen 50 Cent throw out... The first pitch out of Mets game. I mean, dear God, he looked like such a wuss, fucking panty waist, fucking pussy. Yeah. He threw the ball like a fucking pussy. And then he went, oh, when the girl attacked him. On some movie, yeah. He got, <laughs> he got hit by some fangirl. He went, ah! Oh! <laughs> yeah, you, you know. But she was ugly, so he was probably like, ah! Yeah, right. <laughs> well, would you look at this? All hell's breaking loose. Looking at the screen now, uh, Matt Hardy is back, or the Hardy Boys are back out of nowhere. This is, this is get, about to get a uh, like Jim Ross used to say. It's about to get a uh, turn into a big slobber knocker. That's right. Speaking of knocking back some slobber, give me some of that Pabst so Blue. She's drinking to, uh, all the Pabst Blue Ribbon. Back to Glenn Fuckface Fuckfell. So what do you think? I body slammed that big fat bastard pretty well. Whoa, whoa! I He's just wanted fucking to heavy. Yeah, but Glenn Fuckface. Is uh is down with the NSA, right? I mean, he's like psychic. Uh, he's laughing at uh, anything the Trump administration does, and that's what they're doing. See, Rupert Moloch, okay, who owns uh the supposedly Foxy Leg News. You want to see Foxy Legs? You come into my studio, you look at my legs, and then look at my wife's legs. Those are Foxy Legs, right? Yeah, he's hiring a bunch of fake fucking conservatives that are really diehard liberals. I mean, look, Greg Butfeld, Glenn Butfeld, he's no different than uh, Juan Williams. He really isn't. He probably goes out to dinner with Juan Williams and gives him handies and shit. Anyway, I'm looking at the action in the ring right now. The Hardy brothers are beating the shit out of Enzo, and here's uh, Kaz. Well, I don't know if I got it right or whatever. Look, I don't keep up with the new wrestlers, okay? I'm old school, okay? I go back to the days of like freaking Ken Shamrock and the Hart Foundation and Mark Merrow, you know, marvelous Mark Merrow. But I tell you something, I'm more marvelous than Mark Merrow, and I got a hotter woman than Mark Merrow ever had. You see my woman? You see my woman? Yeah, she's she's amazing. That's why I got the house, I got the car, I got the woman. Here's the woman again. What do you think of that? <laughs> That's what she thinks about that. Uh... Yeah. Now she's singing Elvis. Yeah, we were in the car and they were having an Elvis marathon. Yeah, it was great. What does Elvis have to do with wrestling? I probably have a, a lot of upset wrestling fans right now because I'm not talking about how old ass Matt Hardy is hitting people with uh, with ladders right now. They're having the the ladder match. This is exciting. <laughs> this is exciting. 
So the Hardy Boys are exciting. They're like part of that old WWF slash E I used to watch. No, but really, let's go back to the people that spy on yours truly. Look, they do these shows on Fox News, and they patent them on over, um, you know, Underground Acts. Oh. Right? I mean, they choose the best Underground Acts, and then they redo them because they're not going to put out the real people, right? Well, because a bunch of fucking it's easier, reptoids. It's easier for them to construct somebody, and they know that something's hot, and and they know it's already a surefire, catchy song, and they just have to do a few things, and they do like an inverse. You know, it's a musical inverse. Oh, but it's right? obvious that the the Glenn Buttfeld people, by mentioning Fifty Cent alone, they're dissing us because that's like a mention to like a, a knock to you because hey. You think I just body slammed Tyrus? You were really trying to body slam 50 Cent back in the day. Okay, but 50 really, you know, look, I have a lot of problems right now with 50, but I... Story of your helped life. Me, look, he's helped me too, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I ain't really hating at him. I'm just like, sometimes he just comes into our store and just starts laughing at us, you know? And I don't really like that. I like it when he helps us. But in the end... Yeah, I did go to uh, court with him, and uh, he laughed. He said, oh, Ja Ru, uh, Ja Ru's little sister. Meanwhile, the, <laughs> the judge, the judge uh, heard, you know, admitted that it was stolen. Oh, like Kaz with a big boot to uh, Cesaro right there, Matt Hardy anyway, yeah. Yeah, and then it was just a, um, a game because I didn't have, like, the second district, the second co uh, circuit ex wants you to get musicologists, so... We had only um, in, inside people that were dirty. That's right. It was an inside yeah. job. Yeah. A story As I life. light up this uh, J. Let me tell you something. I want to fight Tyrus in the ring. You think he'd do it? If I lose... I want you touching his body. If I lose about 20 pounds, so that's it. You hear me, Tyrus? I'm coming after you. I'm going to wrestle you, buddy. I'm going to freaking DD. I'm going to freaking DDT you. It's going to be epic. It's going to be like when Lex Luger body slammed Yokozuna. It's going to be that fucking epic. And let me tell you something, Jaja. If you ain't down with that, I'm going to pull a gold dust and Marlena on you. I'll dump you on there. You better let me body slam that, man. You I'm, want, I'm want, kidding. I'm kidding. Want, I would never dump. I just wanted to throw out another want, wrestling reference. You touch his body? Ugh. Touch his body. Yeah. Well, you make it. You make it sound pretty gay. Well, it is pretty gay. Okay. Well, it's not pretty gay. I'm sitting here with like a big pair of tits, okay. weed, and, and and beer. But two guys. And look at my my rippling freaking arms. Look at look at this. I should be on WrestleMania right there. Look look at that. You you can't punch like that. You're like Sheamus, uh, freaking little slaps. You know that guy looks like a like a giant can of mayonnaise. Look how white he is. See that guy in the ring? They're wearing like nylon panties. Oh. Nylon panties. So you don't want me wrestling Tyrus because in your words, that would be gay. Gay. Well, Jaja, I think that's very socially intolerable of you. And you have to be tolerant of uh, big, fat, gay guys that I would like to wrestle. And I really don't <laughs> want you to, you know, kind of get his parasites and his bacteria and bring it back into the bedroom. Into our bedroom, yeah, right. Because mm -hmm. then it'd be like we're having like a threesome with that fat fuck. Yeah, that's, that's gross. pretty gross. Right. Yeah, right. So look, Tyrus, I'll wrestle you if you, uh, wear you know, clothes. yeah, if wear like a a hazardous freaking hazard suit, <laughs> a hazmat suit. Yeah, hazmat. I'll wrestle you and fucking uh, it'll be a hazmat hardcore match. That's right. You dirty <laughs> staff ridden fucking Magilla Gorilla looking motherfucker. <laughs> And with that, Sheamus and uh, what's that uh, Cesaro guy that likes to wear my, my Bruce Montalvo glasses, they kicked uh, the, the rapping midget with uh, Jaja's old haircut, a little blonde hair, and uh, the other guy, the big tall guy. Oh, and then the big tall dude, Kaz, I think, with a big freaking boot to the face. She just love that. Uh, and, he th and he throws the little guy, Enzo, over him. Look at that. It, that reminds me of Lucha Libre. I've been watching a lot of Lucha Libre because... You know, and uh, the Hardys with a freaking kick to the face to the big guy. I've been watching a, a lot of Lucha Libre because, you know, come from that Mexican background. And it's exciting, you know, like the Mil Mascaras flying through the ropes style wrestling, you know. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's good to watch. It's 
exciting to watch. But at the end of the day, I'm not like Jack in the Box, or you don't have to tell me that it's fake. It's sports entertainment. You're going to tell me it's fake. Uh, they take a couple of shots to the chops, though, and then they throw them off of things, but it's timed. They know when they're going to do it. It's like ballet. You got to be in shape, and you got to wear tights. Anyway, I thought it was funny, uh, going back to that big fat guy that I'm wrestling. Uh, yeah, dude, look, I needed a tag team. You, you know why? Because, you know, you and Glenn Buttfeld got the entire NSA to spy on underground comedians as talk shows like myself and, and, and rehash what we say and redo what we say, right? And you, you try to do it. You, you think you're funny, but, but you're not. So I'm freaking leg dropping you with my, my homegirl, Jaja, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah, leg dropping you. And uh, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. I might even change my name to like Ray Montalvo when I wrestle. Well, the, you know, you got to mix it up a little. I'll come out with the glasses and shit. I mean, my arms are already halfway there. Yeah. They're fucking huge. So all I got to do is work out the little torso a little bit, get ultra sexy. What, what do they call that in the rap game that you're from? They call that the, the money pack? That's right. I need to get my money pack straight. But uh, how about my six pack of Paps Blue Ribbon? Here we go. Look at that. You got uh, Luke Gallows over here punching out uh, Kaz and Enzo as they try to go for the the tag team championship. And they throw him through the freaking ladder. Look at that. Right in the spot. They kick him right in the face. Yo, this is, I feel like MSNBC reporting fake news. As I like report these fake kicks. I mean, that's what they do, right? It's like, it's like when you're hearing all that Russia rhetoric, it's like watching wrestling. It's, it's even faker than wrestling. I mean, right here, that little blonde haired dude. Enzo, he's getting the shit punched out of him by uh, Luke Gallows as he's trying to go for that title belt right there. And uh, let's see what the cards are. How many cards have we missed? They said the Big Show versus Braun Strowman. That was a pretty big guy. Sami Zayn. We didn't see that. We didn't see the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Right now we're watching Luke Gallows versus... Enzo Amore and Big Cass. That's right there. Having an all-out brawl right now. But I'm serious. I'm serious. If there's any way to make it happen, I swear to God, I will wrestle Tyrus. And I will body slam Tyrus. I will freaking suplex his ass like Lex Luger through a table if they give me a chance. Hell, I'll even, I'll even get tickets to uh, Greg Gutfeld's show. I'll show up there while they're airing the motherfucker, and I'll be, like, calling him out. I'll rip my shirt off live in a studio audience in front of G Greg Gutfeld. He'd probably love that, wouldn't he? Mm, yeah. Yeah. So, if you want to see me wrestle that big, fat piece of shit that chokeslam people with his titties, Tyrus, you want to see El Gran Montalvo, El Gran Montalban, that's right. As I'm drinking my beer. If you want to see the great one. Take on that big fat piece of shit. Why don't you give me a hell yeah. Give me a hell yeah. That's right. I said give me a hell yeah. Give me a hell yeah. That's right. That's right, folks. Now let's see. Let's see. Um, I've just uh, been left by my uh, co-host. Yeah, she's gonna come in and out, you know. She's she doesn't care about the wrestling. She doesn't care about it. But here you go, here you go. The one of the Hardys is going for the tag team belt. They got it! They got the belt. The Hardy boys are back. So there you go, Vince McMahon. 33 degree Freemason. Evil as fuck, Vince McMahon. Bring him back. Old cats. So you see Matt Hardy and uh the Hardy. Boys are fucking tag team champs. Look at that. They're like it's 2000 and like one all over again. That's crazy. But there's some big matches. Big matches in this WrestleMania 33 card from Orlando. You have uh, Shane McMahon taking on AJ Styles, John Cena, and Nikki Bella taking on The Miz and Maurice, uh Bailey. I'm not watching all those. Uh, all those uh, matches with the 
It's not the same anymore, folks. I'm not. I'm not watching some of these matches. Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. They they really let guys that are out of shape, that out of shape, wrestle. Yeah, I'm mentioning Tyrus, but Kevin Owens is another fat fucking slob. I mean, Kevin Owens. I mean, I could be Kevin Owens. You see, Kevin Owens. That could be me, but not as fat. Seriously. No, what did Jaja compare me to the other day? She said that we're watching Nacho Libre. And I said, hey, I kind of have like a better body than Nacho. And I was saying, I look like uh, Ramses. And then she said, no, you look like Nacho Libre more. But still, I'm like an in-shape Nacho Libre when you think about it. Like pretty sh in shape. Yeah, I'd be able to kick Jack Black's ass. No problem. I could probably out-rock Jack Black too. You haven't heard. You people haven't heard. You haven't heard my death metal. You really haven't. Jai just heard it. Actually, I was driving her wild the other day. What was I doing? I always drive her insane. I was playing, uh, I would do anything for love. I played that shit twice. You believe that shit? You could barely listen to that song once. I played it twice. She had a look in her eye like she was going to kill me. The greatest thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. I'm very lucky to have a. A woman that puts up with me like that. I mean, who the hell? What kind of a crazy bastard plays a meat love song twice? Especially that one. Nah. Takes a special woman to uh, to do that. To support that. And that is uh, what I have, folks. That's right. Anyway, pretty exciting. WrestleMania 33. Big yawn. Big yawn, just a bunch of new losers. Hey, why does Shane McMahon have to be in every fucking WrestleMania? I mean, can't he just, like, you know, watch it from the back? You know, it's like, you're not even a superstar, dude. You know, what did he do the other, last year? What, he threw himself off the freaking ring? And he, like, missed? You know, it's just awful. No, but it's... It's uh, a big satanic freaking get together folks whether you want to believe it or not i mean wrestlemania is like the the super bowl you could rest assured that they'll show some subliminal illuminati messaging okay it's all about false idols selling their soul turning families against families i mean they're literally showing what could be very close to like porno Smut TV. I mean, they have gays in wrestling now. I mean, actually having literal gay wrestlers. And all of it is aimed at your children, folks. At your children. Look at this. Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. He, I'm watching Jimmy Fallon at WrestleMania. You know what they need to do to Jimmy Fallon? They should put him in a fucking torture rack. They should bring back Lex Luger from hell or wherever he is. Uh, he's, you know, that's sad because Lex, Lex Luger is like a freaking paraplegic now. He's like half the man he used to be. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's assholes like that that ruin it. I mean, I'd rather see like old ass Arnold Schwarzenegger sitting there. But you don't see him sitting there because wrestling ain't the wrestling it used to be. Okay, you got metrosexuals wrestling now. I mean, seriously, this Miz... This Miz, seriously, I mean, he came out of, like, reality TV. I mean, he came out of the fucking real world, and I'm supposed to watch this guy wrestle? The guy sucks. Man, the guy, you know what he looks like? He looks like fucking Pepe the Frog. That's what he looks like. With his, like, ugly little French freaking woman that, like, everybody's banged out. I mean, the Miz sucks. Plain and simple, the Miz, it's like the Miss. I, I never understood his name. And then John Cena, look at... Older than freaking father time. I mean, look at the crow's feet on John Cena's face. Hey, you need to know when you need to retire, Holmes. I mean, how many Marine movies are they still making? It's like Marine number five, Marine number six. So you, the WWE makes its own movies. Some of them are so awful. All of them are awful. What am I saying? Some of them. You ever seen that movie that Triple H made? Oh, God. I watched five seconds of that movie. And... That, I, I'm so mad that I'm never going to get back the five seconds of my life. I mean, it's just abhorrent. It's, it's really crazy, but yeah, yeah. You got fake 
wannabe fucking conservatives on Fox News bringing out these wrestlers out there, talking shit, saying, oh yeah, 50 Cent's career is over, that's like an inside joke, this in Jaja, this in, this in me, because Glenn Gutfeld, Greg Butfeld, he's all over the Bruce Montalvo show, uh, a lot of Fox News is, uh, they, they, they watch shows like mine, you see Hannity's trying to be like freaking Alex Jones now. They all want to be like us because we're the ones that told the truth. They want to be like the alternative media because the alternative media is now the new counterculture. The last time I checked, Fox News is part of the MSM. They're part of the fucking fake news. They're part of the ABC Alphabet Soup Media. Not me. Not me. Hey, they're just as fake as WWE, folks. Just as fake. And it's the same. But they're false idols. Are they propagating freaking Hillary Clinton? Like she's fucking Gaia? I'm sick of hearing it. I mean, every day. Every day. I'm so sick of hearing it already. Every day. Russia, Russia, Russia. Why do I have to keep hearing about Russia, huh? Why? What about Russia? My wife's part Russian. Does that mean I'm a Russian spy? Huh? Macho rad cow? Does... Does it mean that just because she's been on RT that, that I'm a Russian spy? Because my wife's been on RT and also, you know, she's part Russian. So that definitely makes me not only a Russian spy, but fake news, right? No, 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 no. All the while, they, they don't say anything about the pedophiles over at the BBC who are out there stroking their beef to children on air. But no, 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 no. They're, they're not fake news. I'm fake news, right? Fucking assholes. That's right. All the assholes that listen in, you're lucky that I'm not some top hacker. Otherwise, I'd do the same shit to you that you do to me. Right? But then you'd send out the fucking SWAT team, and then, you know, we'd have a real tables and ladders match right here in, in front of my fucking house with, like, all the, the jump out boys, right? Yeah, it's insanity. Anyway, let's see. The Miz versus John Cena. That's about as as boring as a root canal. I mean, you know, you want to say that, that John Cena is talented, really? I remember Owen Hart being talented, okay? Jerry the King Lawler was more talented than fucking John Cena. Are you kidding me? Those guys, these new guys stink compared to the wrestling prestige that I remember. And uh, I'm looking at an article here. A lot of WWE fans showed up to the arena, WrestleMania 33, dressed up as Stone Cold Steve Austin and Sting. And uh, just mentioned Owen Hart. You know, for, for the longest time, I thought that maybe Vince McMahon blood sacrificed him. But, you know, he probably just faked his death. The same thing with uh, The Ultimate Warrior. You know, they, they want to spin the other conspiracy side of the story. Oh, they were blood sacrificed. Did you ever take the time to think that maybe these guys faked their death or McMahon told them to fake their death so their previous superstardom could go into, like, legend and they could make a whole shitload of money off of that? I'm telling you, you know, McMahon, he helped fund... Donald Trump. I mean, we wouldn't have President Trump today if it wasn't for WWE. And look at the Miz show. He's wearing what looks like a fucking skirt. He almost looks as feminine as his fucking lady. I mean, this is just unbelievable. Look at him. Look at him with, again with the with the glasses, the 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 Bruce Montalvo glasses. Those are those aviators belong to me. Yeah, they they literally got my name on them. I want you to look at those shades. From now on, they, they got my name on them, right? Doesn't say Bruce, but they got my name on them. Anyway, folks, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, WrestleMania 33, Orlando, Florida. I don't know, I think they're doing it in New Orleans next year. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I was going to go to SummerSlam in Brooklyn, but I was looking at tickets, but Jaja just couldn't handle the WWE universe. I mean, they're, they're really just zombified. And they're no different than, like, Nicki Minaj fans. I mean, when we lived in Fort Greene, uh, Barclays was right down the street, and they were, like, having a Nicki Minaj concert or whatever, you know, that reptilian bitch. 
and I, we we were walking to go get some groceries in the stadiums right you know right across the street and their her fans her her legion of, of mindless idiots were walking towards us and it's unbelievable how devoid of thought how just just oblivious these people look they really look just like they don't even know where they are just complete and total zombies in a total zonambulous state listening to their freaking false idols Cause that's what it is that's what all entertainment has become under the president of hollywood aka satan who runs the whole damn fucking show okay it's all just false idol worship and turning you into a fucking mindless zombie that just consumes what they tell you to consume and buys what they tell you to buy. Unbelievable. This guy. You know, The Miz is like the biggest metrosexual ever. Doesn't this guy look fruitier than his lady? I mean, yeah. You see him right next to his lady. He, he's wearing some, some outfit that looks just like an outfit his woman would wear. It's unbelievable. Al Roker. How about what the fuck is Al Roker doing at a WrestleMania? I don't I don't understand this at all, folks. It's just it's just unbelievable. But again, re wrestling it my time it was becoming like like smut TV. I mean, the chicks would come out there and they'd be showing their freaking boobs. I don't know, the girls they have now are dorky, but back in in my day, it was like it was like they were really really starting to like fucking turn into like like smut TV. It was like downright pornographic. I mean, you couldn't watch that type of stuff with your children. Okay? Because they were putting the, the booze in their face. Now, it's like a complete 360. They they want gay wrestlers in the ring. You know, rubbing and touching. I want to I wanna kick Tyrus's ass just for spying on me and, and my homegirl. Uh, my wife, man. Well, what did Glenn Buttfeld say the other day? What did he say? He said... Uh, he says, it's not exciting to watch a marriage while saying, you know, every talking point in sequence as my, my last Friday show. It's unbelievable. Look, the, the, the comment I'm trying to make is that it's smut TV. It is, it is just, uh, it's not wrestling anymore. It's not, it's not your old, uh, you know, your grandpa's American Wrestling Federation. You know, the AWO, NWA, it's not, it's not that anymore. It's become uh, just uh, really close to pornography at times. It's unbelievable. I mean, last, at last year's WrestleMania, they did a completely satanic homage to the Illuminati. They had crowds of, of, of zombified people with their mouths shut as Stephanie McMahon, Vince McMahon's daughter, was telling them, uh, and, uh, all around her, she was adorned with like uh, Knights of Malta, Templar symbols, and looking like a satanic witch, telling the entire crowd of the WWE universe, telling them that they're a bunch of slaves, and that they're going to do what they tell them to do. And they're showing them effigies of like, you know, zombified, ghostly, corpse-like looking people, with their mouths like welded shut. I mean, this is some scary stuff. I'm just waiting to see what they're gonna put out next. But uh, this sorry excuse of a match right here. I mean, these two guys. I mean, they should just get ready to retire. Really. I mean, John Cena, The Miz. We'll see how this turns out. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. This WrestleMania is pretty boring. I remember a couple of years ago they had the actual. The old world order come out. It was just funny seeing Scott Hall come out like fucking 80 years old and shit. And like big sexy Kevin Nash looking like big grandpa. You know how many freaking people those guys raped? I th I'm wondering if they, if they really killed off China or if she just left and, and faked her death too. Just faked her death for all the royalties and all the... All the the goodies that they're uh, that they get right oh you don't have to pay taxes anymore if you're dead it's it's crazy really crazy stuff but uh yeah wrestlemania i'm not there but i'm watching it just like you are and uh 
let me tell you folks, it is just, it is not what it used to be. These guys, I mean, they already would have been like kicking each other's asses. The Miz is dancing around like a little metrosexual, jumping on the ropes, yelling, moving around. I mean, he stinks. You see, he's got like two moves that are okay. But this guy, I mean, he's just, I mean, you wonder who he's related to. You really wonder who this guy, The Miz, is related to that they pushed him up so high in, in WWE. I mean, why, why, don't, why don't they have Dan Badandi up there? Bionic Dan Badandi. I mean, he's in shape now. He looks like he could break three bulls in half with his bare hands. That's another thing. If I do a tag team match, maybe I'll bring Badandi with me. And, uh, Tyrus could bring somebody. It would be a big match. Be a big match. We'll we'll beat the shit out of him, and for the right money, maybe we'll lose to him too, right? <laughs> That's how the wrestling game uh, works. You know what I'm saying? You lose when they tell you to lose, and you could learn something from wrestling and politics because they're one and the same. See, the Democrats they they play the game with the Republicans that they're choking each other out. Oh, I got you in a sleeper hold. You know, oh, my person's punching you when, when the ref's not looking. Yeah, they play the game. But after the show, what do they do? They go out and uh, they go to Old Homestead and get themselves a steak. Right? They go out and they, they, they get themselves a steak. It's just a show. It's a dog and pony act. Uh, they know who's going to fall when and how and what. And they know what the, the mantra of the week is. You know, it's it's a circus. It's this grand bread and circus that has followed us since the Roman times. It's the Roman times of the Colosseum. You know, they they needed their their entertainment. They needed a way to control the masses. And what better than sport? I mean, going back to Hitler's Olympics. I mean, even the reason you have a a fucking zeppelin. You know, flying around at your at your Dodgers game is because of the Third Reich, huh? We adopted so much from the Romans, from, from the from the Germans. It's just unbelievable. So you know, when I see talentless schmucks like like the Miz up here, I mean, it's it's clear he's probably related to some freaking Nazi. I mean, Jaja could probably find him. She finds everybody. She's like the Lieberman. Of the conspiracy movement. You were talking about Aton Pates before. Oh, you're Jimmy Fallon? Yeah. Jimmy Fallon, yeah, right. It, wasn't that that missing kid? You keep saying he looks like the missing kid, so therefore he is the missing kid, right? Yeah, well, that's that's. Came out, came hey, in, your, in your investigation. Well, you know how Laurel Canyon works, right? They just pull kids out of uh, nowhere. I played a show there once. Grab it out of a hat. Long time ago, Whiskey a Go Go. Play the show. I think like eighteen people were there. <laughs> it's it's just uh, going through memory lane here. Anyway, WrestleMania thirty three. I'm watching it. The Miz sucks. Uh, look, Tyrus, why don't you bring the Miz? Because they're gonna fire him after this WrestleMania more than likely because he stinks. Look at this. Look at this. You really, John Cena's just gonna take an ass kicking from some fucking loser like this? I'm telling you, what happened to the to the good old days of like the you know the Owen Hart's and the the British Bulldogs? This this is just crap TV. I'm telling you, it's gotten worse. It's nothing but false idol worship, and uh, not much satanic symbolism in this uh, in this WWE WrestleMania 33, but. Let me tell you something. I'm going to go and I'm going to start watching the entire event. I'm going to leave you here with this commentary. But um, I'm telling you, I'm really, really, really going to look forward to wrestling freaking Tyrus. I'm going to figure out how it could happen. I mean, his career is on the down. Okay. What's, what's next? I mean, TNA, I mean, you're not going up, you're going down. So I'm pretty sure that I'm going to face Tyrus in like the fucking EWF or something. All right. <laughs> so be prepared because 
you know, Greg Gutfeld's going to freaking put that in his video of the week. Uh, me body slamming your fat ass for uh, being uh, Snoop's bodyguard. Ate all of Snoop's food. Choke slamming people with his titties. If you agree with that, give me a hell yeah. Give me a hell yeah. I said give me a hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm I'm going to go, and I'm going to go watch the show, folks. It's been a special Bruce Montalvo, WrestleMania 33, special broadcast. I believe the crap they have today, really? Really? This is what they have to offer today in wrestling. Let me tell you something, I'm one of the most dynamic, explosive fighters in the world, and you don't even know it. But maybe you will. You've been listening to the Bruce Montalvo Show. WrestleMania 33. Maybe I'll be there at WrestleMania 34. Maybe 35. I'm not predicting I'll be there at WrestleMania 38. Stay tuned. forward to that Undertaker Goldberg match or Oldberg match that's what I'm looking forward to I'll probably be really drunk by then anyway we're on every Friday 9 p.m. Eastern same time same dial this Montalvo show catch you guys later